So welcome to the first edition of Mont TV for 2015. My name's Ed, and over the course of the season, I'm going to bring to you highlights, my opinions of the games. This is non-sponsored, it is not officially sanctioned by the club, but most of all, it's going to be a little package for those of you that can't come down to the game, get a chance to see what's happened. For the first interview I'm going to have for the season, I catch up with Greg Bowman, president of the footy club, to give his opinion on how the season's gone so far at round two. All right, Greg, so 2015, we're off to a flyer, not perhaps the result we wanted in round one, but in terms of a good crowd on a bright sunny day, first home game, looks fantastic. Yeah, look, Ed, we're looking forward to the game. It's a big challenge for us. We're keen to get our first win on the board, and what better day, sun's out, and Bandura as our opponent. If we can't be motivated for that, we'll never be motivated. And in terms of the crowd, Ladies' Day today looks pretty exciting. I've just been inside Ladies' Day. They've got 80-odd ladies inside. We've had an Elvis impersonator, and he was fantastic. So it's a good feel around the club. On field, a lot of new faces this year. I mean, I know just on my first game last week trying to commentate it, oh, I didn't know who was who. There's, we've got a few recruits. Stevie McCallum from Williamstown, who you would have known has played very well, got a lot of the footy. Rowan Hoare will take some time to settle, but he's going to be a good contributor for us. Alex Potter, we've yet to see from Queensland. He'll play key down back. And then a lot of kids coming through from the juniors who we're pretty excited about. And uh, some players returning to the fold. Yeah, Grant McCracken's back at the club, which is great. He played his 100th game uh, for the club today. And a, a few others that have come back, Liam Hunt. Yeah, sure. And we're really happy because we, that's, that's what we're looking for, a, a Monty feel. Yeah. So Fitzgerald down back and Brooker back, I mean, it's got to be an exciting time. Brooker is, a, is an excitement machine when he gets going, and Fitzy uh, is, could be one of the best backs in the competition, so absolutely. And uh, the, the message today, uh, obviously the, the coaches must be absolutely devastated from stealing defeat from the jaws of victory last week. Uh, what have you heard around the traps this week? Uh, just that they've got to kick the ball through the two tall sticks, not through the other two. <laughs> um, but no, look, I think remain positive. We had the ball, which is a sign that, uh, you know, that if we execute better we can win the game. And uh, overall, the experience down here at Mont, uh, we've got to be excited about the crowds that we're getting. How can we make it better this year? What, what are we doing? Look, um, I think the Monty feel is what we're after. We're getting the crowds down here. They see that there's a lot of homegrown boys. Uh, there's a lot, lot less high-profile players and just a more uh, local feel, and I think that will generate some enthusiasm with our crowd as well. And uh, sticking your hand up for the big job this year, how's that, uh, has that changed the way that you look at the footy? Uh, no, no, it doesn't, because um, I've been on the committee, as you know, for a few years, and so, yes, you look at every Saturday, you look at the sky, you look at the crowd, you look at the rain, and that's how you look at the footy, and, uh, yeah, no, it, that... Being on the committee certainly opens your eyes up. Yeah, been there, done that, folks, I can tell you. But, uh, all right, so just final words, mate. Uh, fantastic day today. What are you hoping for? Uh, oh, firstly, I want a good showing. I want to see 22 blokes out there that are having a crack, but I want them to get the monkey off the back. I want to win uh, to get us going again for the season ahead. So let's have a look at some of the highlights of the game. Big throw by the umpire, Joel, knocks it behind. Who's there? Benny Fennell. Ball ricochets out. Back in again. Bondura picked up off the ground. Just well, well read by, uh, by Cahill. Ball just a big stack on. Bondura pick it up. Almost a throw out. No, says the umpire. Oh, Cahill just, just barrels his way out. Off to McKenzie. McKenzie's handball's hot. Off to Collins. Back to Collins. Collins just goes a big talk. Get it down there. Doyle won't let you down. Now, third go for Deutz this quarter. He is proving a handful for Bandura, but he's not making them pay yet. Montmorency, three straight points. Well, shouldn't say straight points because uh, points ain't straight kicking. Kicks in that split the middle that time. And thank goodness Montmorency get a goal. So hardly a breath of wind at the moment. So no advantage to anyone. Wind will probably pick up later. Bomber, he's already got the, uh, already got the face mask. He's obviously been pumped. And is that a goal? Yes, it is, and that's a good start. Well done by Jesse. So incredibly, over the past two weeks, 19 points round one, 20 points round two. Bad kicking, bad footy. Could have won both games by a country mile. This game against Bandura, we had 12 set shots where we missed. 
that hurts. The first rush behind didn't come until the 11th point. So we had 10 shots on goal where we were entirely responsible for the outcome. Oh, can Montmorency make them pay? pay oh. Missed. Missed one for the quarter. Shouldn't miss this one. Never confident with Big Ruckman. Missed it. Gets it back. Donaldson, made a goal. A fantastic positive out of the game, though, was the marking. How good were the, were the forwards? Deuter, Hoare, McClellan when he drifted down. They were marking everything. If only they could kick. There, though, who's going to get up to Mont? He goes short, looking for and finding. What a beautiful kick. Oh, so. Ball goes high. And Montmorency being the four. Takes his second good mark for the quarter. Looking for Deutz. And Deutz again, how strong is he? Donaldson wins, of course. Kicks under pressure. But he hits Deuter on the chest. Bondura missed the target. Ball comes straight back. And uh, Deuter, right on that point post. Oh, looks to handball to McCallum. Uh, <laughs> So Licky Collins just goes long, looking for the big timber. Oh, uncontested. Deuter finds McCallum. McCallum puts it length of the ground on the pack Matthews here. Just pumps it in long. Looking for Deutsch front and uh, drifting across the front McLean. Puts it in one on one. It was fast paced. It was end to end stuff. It was high marking, hard hitting. But most of all, it was a great game of footy. Better players for the day. Couldn't go past Jetsy Donaldson. Almost won the game off his own boot. And then what about Xavier Cahill? He was fantastic across the back. In the forward line, Doida was absolutely marking everything. I mean, the man was a mountain of Bandura. They had to check him to stop him. Now. Throw it back. Montmorency just need to, need to get possession. Oh, come on. Oh. You can hear the more crowd, we needed that. Wow. Now they're going to defend the centre. Straight after the game, mate, uh, a lot better feeling than last week. Uh, yeah, look, it is. It's, um, it is a good feeling, but, you know, probably you know, still a lot to work on. You know, we should have... You know, definitely won by more than the scoreboard says we won. So, um, yeah, look, good, good, good to get a win. You know, young group, you know, some reward for effort. Been a long summer, so you know, it's good for the younger guys. Did you almost feel like a bit of deja vu from last week? Uh, a little bit of that. Yeah, look, we certainly didn't take our chances. Um, we pushed the footy at times, but you know, look, we're a young group. We'll learn from it. I thought there were some really exciting players out there today. Players like Kalange, uh, Xavier Cahill, really stepped up. Mitch Dillon. Yeah, a lot of those guys you mentioned, the young guys, and, and you know they're going to they're going to be up and down for probably the next you know 12 months. But you know they're, they're, Xavier Carl especially, has shown some really good form down back. You know, Jake Kalange is one that we, we get for the first time this, this week, and you know he's been at Coburg, so it was good to get him in, involved in, in in the playing group. And the the ruck contest at the moment, John McClellan's winning it, but we seem to be losing it at the ground level. Yeah, look, definitely not last week. I think we won the stoppages 42 to 26. So last week we were definitely on top. You know, tonight, probably just structurally, I think, you know, we probably didn't have the right mix in there. But, um, you know, Joel definitely, you know, his form's been terrific since, you know, the, you know coming off six weeks with a hernia and to be, able, to be able to step straight in against Lowell Plenty and have the impact he did and then back it up again tonight is really pleasing. And uh, with the coaching now of the boys, it's two games we've had a bit of a fade. Um, how do you address that? Oh look, no doubt we've we've got to look at our rotations and, and what we do, you know, as a coaching group, but also the players. You know, they're a very young group. Like when you when you're putting out anywhere from eight to ten under 19 kids, you're going to have that that ebb and flow. But you know, we've just got to try and correct that, and and, and we will over the next you know six and, weeks. And Twilight Footy is it a winner? Definitely a winner. <laughs> no, it's a good. You know, the fans enjoy it. You know, really good crowd tonight. Uh, I think the players enjoy it. So yeah, tick tick tick. So that was the first edition of Mont TV. In the coming weeks, I'm hoping to have some guest speakers, some fun with the players, and most of all, give you a package which you want to come back and watch all over again. So until then, go Mont.